of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill. His mind alert. A ready smile. Unswerving. Loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. All ashore that's going to shore. 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 Boy, Bill, I can hardly believe it. One day I'm hard at work in school, and the next day I'm on a weekend cruise with you. And then on to a whole week in Puerto Cambello. <laughs> I should think you'd be used to last-minute changes, Jojo, after all the time you spend with Henry and me. Oh, I am, but, but usually it means trouble. No. <laughs> what I'm not used to is last-minute changes with such happy results. <laughs> yeah, too bad Henry couldn't make it, though. That was sure swell of him to think of asking me to go in his place. Yeah. It's nice of the principal, too, to let you take this trip. And nice of the teachers to go to all the trouble of giving me my assignments in advance so I could do them while I'm on the trip. Sure was, Jojo. I think generally that schools are beginning to see that education is more than just book work. While I'm showing the fishermen in Puerto Cambello a few things about conservation, you can be learning a great deal about the customs and cultures of the place. That's true. I think the principal probably figured on that. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that the school hasn't thrown over the book idea. <laughs> I guess not. I saw that pile of reading matter you lugged into our cabin. Yeah, and speaking of cabins, that's sure a swell cabin we have. Yeah, it sure is. This looks as though it'll be a nice break from the usual routine. Poor Stumpy and Henry and Grey Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> having to sit back there in Naughty Pine and worry about all the things that happen while we relax on board a big, beautiful steamer in luxury? <laughs> well, it's not exactly a steamer, Jojo. All ashore that's going ashore. All ashore that's going ashore. All ashore that's going ashore. Going Looks ashore. like we're ready to set out to sea, Skipper. Aye, aye, mate. Batten down your barnacles. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look, they're holding the gangplank. Huh? Probably somebody late. Boy, if you missed this train, it would be a wet run to catch it. Bill, look. Yeah, I am. He looks interesting, doesn't he? I'll say. Long robes, they look like silk. And that turban. Where do you think he's from, Bill? Oh, it's hard to say. Somewhere in the Middle East, I would guess. No wonder they held a gangplank. Why, if he's as rich as he looks, he could probably buy this boat and fire the captain. Uh, talking about the captain? Yeah. Look at the welcome he's given that turban. Right. Hey, this might turn out to be really an interesting trip. So interesting that you can overlook your homework? Whoops. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> well, it was nice of the school officials to let you come along, but... If you don't carry out your part of the bargain, Jojo, it'll never happen again for you or anyone else. Well, I don't like having to do it, but it sure is a pretty good deal. It sure is. Well, I got the plank up now. Looks like this time we're really underway. Yeah. Oh, give me the life on the open sea. Uh, uh, um, where waves and balmy breezes lurk. Oh, give me the life on the open sea. Um, and help me with my homework. <laughs> well, Jojo, if 
you've ever had any doubts about the world being round, now's the time to get rid of them. <laughs> See how the distant land looks like it's sinking below the horizon? Yeah, terrific. Seems uh, kind of funny to watch the solid ground disappear and be left on this uh, rolling, uh, weaving, uh, tilting... Uh... Well... <laughs> uh, yes, Jojo? Uh, let's talk about something else, huh? You uh, feeling all right, Jojo? Sure, sure. Good. Let's take a walk around the ship and see what she's like. If it's all the same to you, Bill, I, I think I'll go down to our cabin and... Uh lie down. You're uh, sure you're all right? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. You know, it's all this uh, excitement. Uh -huh. sort of tired me out, you know. I think I'll rest up a little. No, I think these might help you, sir. Huh? They're talking to me? Yes, sir. I thought you might like to have one of these pills. They'll help. That's very thoughtful, Stuart. Thank you. Uh, how soon will they start working? Oh, quite soon. Just take them with a little water. And... Water? <laughs> Easy, Jojo. <laughs> if I might suggest... Uh, go right ahead. Well, if you go to your cabin, take one of these pills and lie down for a few minutes. Your stomach... Will... Please, don't say stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> I suppose that kind of thing is old stuff to you, Stuart. Well, not really. This is only my third voyage, so I'm relatively new to all of it. But there have been one or two on every trip that have needed their stomach set. <laughs> Please, don't say stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful, Stuart. No, that's all right, sir. Oh, uh, by the way. Yes, sir? Would you have any idea who the gentleman in silk robes and turban is who's aboard? Uh, my young friend and I were just curious. Well, I'm curious too, sir, but I'm afraid I don't know. Either the captain or the first mate could fill you in, I'm sure. Thank you. Luncheon will be served in the main dining room at 12.30. I uh, hope we'll be able to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be all right by then. Those pills work quite rapidly. Feeling better, Jojo? Yeah. Those pills really do work. Want to uh, take a walk around the deck? Oh, not quite yet. <laughs> I still feel a little shaky. Uh -huh. I thought I'd get the jump on some of this homework. Uh, as long as I'm sick, I might as well do something that's... Oh, come on. You don't really mind schoolwork that much, do you? Oh, I don't mind learning things. Uh, in fact, I really like that part of it. Well? Oh, I don't know. Think it has something to do with the work involved? I guess so. I wonder if there's some country in the world that has some way of learning that is less... Say... Huh? What's the matter? Did you find out anything about that fellow with the turban? Oh, I asked the steward, but he didn't know anything about him either. I haven't seen the gentleman on deck. Seems to keep pretty well to himself. Which reminds me. What's that, Bill? Did you notice anything strange about his coming aboard? I thought the whole thing was pretty strange. No, I mean, if you were going to describe what you thought someone like that would do when he entered a boat, a train, or something like that, what would you say? Let me think. Well, first he'd be late, as he was, uh -huh. so that he wouldn't have any trouble with crowds and things, and then his valet would come on to... Uh -huh. Hey... Is that what you mean, Bill? Right. I've never heard of anyone like that traveling alone. They always seem to have at least one servant or something. And he didn't have anyone. What do you think that means? I don't know, Jojo. Well, uh, why don't you uh, get on to your homework, huh? Bill, have you lost your head? Uh, keep talking, Jojo. I think there's someone outside the door listening. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Uh, I mean... Uh, uh... Uh, uh, do you remember that poem Stumpy used to recite about the sea, Bill? You know, it goes, uh, Oh, bury me not on the open sea, cause... Oh, can I help you? Uh, pardon me. I'm terribly sorry. I must have had the wrong cabin. Uh-huh. Excuse me, please. Uh, just a minute! <laughs> he sure left in a big hurry. Boy, what do you suppose he wanted? I don't know. 
If he really did have the wrong cabin, I suppose there are plenty of good reasons why he should be listening at the door. If he you didn't... You know, Bill, this trip is beginning to give me the creeps. Well, don't let it, Jojo. Come on, it's about time for lunch. Or, as they call it here, uh, luncheon. Okay, but what about Let's just the... keep our eyes open, huh? Just keep our eyes open. Well, I see you made it all right. Yes. Thanks a lot for that pill. <laughs> it really did the trick. Uh, Jodo's back to uh, above normal again now. Well, that's good to hear. Have you decided what you'll be having for luncheon? Jojo? Uh, number three looks good to me. And I'll have milk, please. Great mm-hmm. minds work together. I'll have the same, please. All right. Two number threes and two milks. Thank you. Maybe after lunch we can uh, take that walk around the boat, Bill? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to drop out on you like that. Oh, but... forget it. Lots of people get sick from motion, you know. Boats, planes, even cars sometimes. I'm just glad that that steward was handy with his pills. Me too. He seems like a nice enough guy, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. Bill, hmm? look. There's a turban. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see him. Boy, I didn't notice all those jewels before. Look at his hands. Uh-huh. He sure is loaded down, all right. I think that's the captain's table he's sitting at. Yeah. In fact, I'm sure it is. That's the captain right there. You mean the one getting up? Uh Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Uh, First, I'd like to welcome you aboard the Golden Wing. I'm Captain Forrester, and if there's anything at all I can do to make your trip more comfortable, just let me know. I'd like to answer one question at this point that I know is on most of your minds, and that is, who is the gentleman in the robes and turban? We of the Golden Wing are honored by the short visit of His Royal Highness, the Shah of Taba Jabul from Arabia. Did you see the neat way he didn't even get up? Just bowed a little bit. Yes, I did, Jojo. And I noticed something else, too. What? You remember Mr. Wrong Cabin? Oh, you mean the guy who was Shh. outside? Yeah, that's the one. He's sitting at the table right behind us. Oh, he is? Don't look. Uh, say, Jojo, after we finish our uh, meal, what say we head right back to the cabin, huh? I got some letters I want to write. But, 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 Bill, you said we could... I think we'd better go straight back to the cabin, pal. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure, sure, Bill. So you see, Jojo, if he thinks we're back in our cabin, he'll feel safer to prowl around. Sure, and we're the only ones that are on to him. Well, we're not on to anything just yet. Let's keep an eye on him without bothering him or anyone else. Uh Uh-oh. I lost Hmm? him. Did you see where he went, Bill? Oh, don't worry. Stalking tactics work as well on shipboard as they do in the woods. He uh, turned into that uh, passageway on the right. Come on. Keep back out of sight now. There he is. What's he doing? Let's stay here and see. He's just standing there. Yeah. Doing the same thing he was doing at our tour. Just listening. So, Captain, on a hunch, we followed him. He spent most of the afternoon listening at doors and making notes in a little book. That's strange, all right. Any idea what he's after? Not in the least. Doesn't really do anything but what we've told you. And he isn't at all fussy as to which door he listens at. Yeah, anywhere there's someone inside, he stops and listens and and takes all kinds of notes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm glad you fellows noticed him. Uh, apparently, Charlie hasn't spotted him. Charlie? Who's Charlie? Uh, Charlie Phillips, the ship's detective. Wow. I didn't know we had a detective aboard. It's necessary, especially in this business. People come and people go, but if it weren't for men like Charlie, most of the ship would go with them. Is it uh, possible that he has seen this man but hasn't gotten around to telling you as yet? Nope. Charlie's a good man. He lets me know the minute something looks funny. Uh-huh. It pays to work as a team. You get more work done. Well, that's good thinking, all right. You say you've met the man? Just that brief encounter outside our cabin. I know I'd recognize him. Uh, didn't he talk with uh, kind of an accent, Bill? Oh, uh, that's right, Jojo. Well, unless he came on board with an assumed name, that should narrow down the search considerably. We'll just take a look at the passenger list and just see what we can right find. Just go in there and tell him. You heard what he said at lunch. But I'm not sure. Go on now. Uh, excuse me, just a minute, please. Of course, Captain. Uh, may I help you, ladies? You certainly may, Captain. Tell him, Rosa. But I'm not really sure that I... Well, if you him. won't tell him, I will. We were returning from a little stroll around your very beautiful boat, Captain. And as we turned the corner of the hallway leading to our cabin, Rosa here saw a man coming out of our cabin. Well, it might not have been our cabin, and he might not have been coming out. All I actually saw... You'll have to excuse her. She's always so vague. A piano teacher, you know. All art, no horse sense at all. Uh, Can you describe the man you saw, Miss... uh... Well, not very well, I'm afraid. All I remember is that he was short, with a dark suit, either blue or black. And he... Hey, that sounds like the man we... Hold it, Jojo. Oh, sorry. Have they been telling you about this man, too? Ladies, I can assure you that we shall do everything we can to find out what happened. You can help us by going back to your cabin and seeing if anything has been disturbed. I hadn't thought of that. Don't worry, Captain. We'll let you know. Come on, Rosa. Well, that settles it. We've got to find this man before someone starts a rumor about him that sets off a small panic. I'll call Charlie. No, as I get the picture, we we don't really have anything on this guy. Unless he was coming out of those ladies' cabin. Well, if he's true to form, he was probably just listening at a door near theirs and... Ran when they came on the scene. Mm, That's what I thought, too. This doesn't sound like the usual situation at all. If he was after something, he'd have already made his move. You mean if if he was going to steal something? That's right, kid. Besides, if he was going to swipe something, the most logical guy to rob would be the Shah. You saw all the jewels that guy sports. I was wondering why he hadn't bothered him. Hey, you don't think this strange man is an assassin, do you? It's a possibility, kid. Maybe he's just trying to find out what cabin the Shah is in. Mm, Doesn't figure. Why not? Two reasons, Jojo. He could just follow the Shah from a meal and find out that way. Mm, That's what I was thinking. What's the other? Why does he write down what he hears from the cabins he stops at? Well, that kind of shoots that idea. What do you think we ought to do, Charlie? If he bothers any more folks, we might have a big problem on our hands. I know, I know. I'll think of something. May I make a suggestion? Sure. Shoot. Well, it's almost dinner time now, and we know that he takes time off to eat along with everyone else. Right. I think after dinner tonight, each of us might cover one deck and uh, watch out for him. Why do that, Bill? You could catch him right in the dining room. We don't want to just catch him, Jojo. We want to catch him doing something. If we just watch... Let him do whatever it is he's trying to do. Then we've got him. Huh. No sign of him at all. I hope one of the other fellows is having better luck. I wonder what he's after. It would have to be my ship. not so sure I like this. What if he should come along here? What would I do? Uh, I'd probably trip over something trying to be quiet. I hope he decides to pick a different deck. Hmm. Can't 
figure this one out at all. We've had all sorts on this ship, but this guy beats them all. Getting late. Wish she'd make a move. Almost 30. 11.30 now. No sign of the stranger. Maybe one of the others is watching him. No, they're not. There he is now. I can't see me. It's a good thing. Huh. Turn down that passageway. Better not get too far behind him. He might get away. <laughs> It's all right, folks. It's all right. Just return to what you were doing. Nothing wrong. Please go back to having a good time. It's all right. Oh, I've never, wrong. never all my life have I been so frightened. There he was, right outside our cabin door. I heard him. I heard him. Now, I'll take it easy, missus. Miss, and I am taking it easy. Would you just tell us slowly what happened? I'm trying to. Rosa and I were sitting in here. Oh, poor Rosa. She fainted dead away when the whole thing happened. The ship's doctor's given her something that'll help her rest. Um, when what whole thing happened? I'm trying to tell you. I heard this shuffling sound outside our cabin, and I said, Rosa, that man is back. Well, she wanted to scream right away, but I said no, and I got the flower vase. It was full of water. What did you do that for? Let me finish, please. Oh, excuse me. Well, I had Rosa open the door, and there he was. And I threw the whole vase of water right at him. Wow! And then Rosa and I screamed until she fainted. Well, that takes care of the crowd. Uh, what's that trail of water leading down the hall away from here? Well, that's great. We can follow him real easy this time. Sure. The water. What's all this about? We'll tell you on the way. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, how do you like that? Yeah, that water trail runs out mighty quick. Yeah, I should have figured that. Well, we lost him again. Yeah, and he probably won't try anything more tonight. After all, this is... Hey, listen. What is it, Jojo? Don't you hear music? It's probably coming up from the lounge. No, no, listen. It's not that kind of music. It, it sounds classical. Sounds like someone practicing. Yeah, he's right. Anybody make arrangements to use the rec room on this deck, Captain? Not that I know of. Let's find out what's going on. Right. It's in here. Okay. Open the door. What's going on in here? Hey, look. It's... Hey, Stuart, what are you doing in here? Well, I, I'm sorry, Captain. I, I thought it'd be all right seeing as how the room wasn't in use. I was just practicing. Oh, uh, sure, it's all right. We just there have been wondered... some strange things going on, Stuart, on board ship tonight, and you were just another one. Uh, I'm sorry if I caused any trouble. Oh, can I be of any help? No trouble, kid. Go ahead and practice. Maybe you'll be somebody someday. Sure, go ahead. Well, thanks. <laughs> I wish you'd tell me what this is all about. Don't worry about it. We'll see you. Well, good night. Good night. Good night, I guess. <sighs> no sense in telling everybody what's going on. Kid isn't bothering anybody. Might just as well let him go. Well, what are we going to do about the man we were after? I figure a search would just upset everyone. So we'll wait until we dock tomorrow and catch him as he tries to get off. Then we can ask him some questions. That's a good idea, Captain. Well, right now, I suggest we all get a little shut-eye. I have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be a busy day. <laughs> I guess everything was all right for the rest of the night, eh, Bill? That's right, Jojo. I checked with the captain this morning. He said it was a quiet night. This is funny. You know, Bill... Huh? What is? Well, here you take this special cruise to Puerto Cambello mm -hmm. to sort of rest up and be away from problems <laughs> and, well... You know, it is happens. sort of funny, all right. But at least here I don't have to do all the worrying. The captain and the ship's detective, Charlie, help out a lot in that department. Well, here we are at the dining room. Yeah, boy, am I hungry. Yeah, me too. 
All that excitement last night just about starved me this morning. <laughs> and no refrigerator to raid, huh? Uh, after you. Well, this table uh, look okay? The way I feel right now, any table looks okay. <laughs> well, in that case, let's sit down. Oh, here comes that detective, Charlie. Oh, good morning, men. How's your rest? Fine, Charlie. Uh, will you join us? Maybe, for a minute. I've already eaten. <laughs> I had quite a time this morning trying to convince those two ladies that everything was all right. <laughs> Boy, how'd you do it? Secrets of the trade, Ken. Uh, you, uh, know that man we were after last night. Oh, uh, see him? Yes, I do. Where, Bill? Sitting at the Shah's table with the Shah. What? I wondered if that was the guy. I spotted him there a little while ago. Just been keeping an eye on him. Well, well why don't we go get him? Not in here. With everyone eating breakfast, Chocho. Let's just keep an eye on him. And the Shah. I don't know how he figures in all this, but... Royalty or not, he's not getting any special favors. Hey, the stranger is getting up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but I must make an announcement for His Highness the Shah. His Highness would like, first of all, to apologize for any disturbance he may have caused in the ship last night. As a matter of fact, it was my clumsiness that has caused screams and commotion. His Highness the Shah would like to present to the two women who were bothered by myself each a rare jeweled brooch. And he hopes that they will find it in their hearts to forgive him. Now, as to the reason I have been learning things about all of you, His Highness the Shah is a very philanthropic soul. What does that mean? A generous, charitable. He really gives away the moolah. He makes it his practice, whenever possible, to find the most deserving person within his immediate surroundings. It has been my job in this cruise to determine who that person might be. Well, there goes our mystery. Yeah, but I wonder who he's decided on... Shh, Jojo. Let's just listen. I have discovered that on this trip there is a young man who is very deserving of the Shah's help and gifts. He is in the process of becoming an accomplished pianist, but because of the lack of finances, has been forced to give up studying to make money. Hey, remember that steward last night? The one that was playing the piano? It is therefore the Shah's pleasure to offer to one of your stewards, Mr. Alex Thorpe, all the financial help necessary to complete his studies. It is His Highness the Shah's only wish that he may someday hear a performance by this blossoming young musician. So long, Captain. Swell trip. It was a pretty exciting trip for you fellows. Sure was. Hey, there's that steward. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Say, it looks as though we both got what we needed on this trip, huh? What do you mean? Well, I got the money to settle my career, and you got those pills to settle your stomach. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, so long, Captain. Steward, maybe we'll see you on the trip back. Well, I hope so. I'll be looking for you. Well, thanks for listening, boys and girls, and we'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill came to you transcribed from the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.